Shalom, brethren. I just want to encourage you in Yah to just to remind you that we have victory all the time in every situation. I was I came in the kitchen and I was looking at the rain coming down and and I thought that is such a beautiful scene. You know, we have so much happening around us, um, so much that is being fulfilled in prophecy right now. So many things that are shocking that humans, you know, would even think of some of the things that they're doing. The hate that's in families, um, it's just so much. There's an awakening. People are starting to find out truth. <laughs> To replace what they thought was truth because of what has been taught for centuries which is another sign that we're at the end and to be found that we're counted worthy to be a part of the awakening is humbling but I just want to say for all of us including me be encouraged because the almighty one that we serve but we know there's other mighty ones. We can't um, not you know, acknowledge that the enemy is a very shrewd one. Um, but our Elohim is even greater than he. So our Elohim is the almighty. He has all power. So I just, like I said, just want to encourage us in knowing that no matter what comes our way, um, no matter what we see or hear or feel or encounter, we have to remember that we always win. And sometimes the win may not be very evident at, at the moment, but we know that in the end we win. There was a song years ago, don't wait till the battle's over, shout now, because we know in the end we win. They Well, they say we're going to win, but we have already won. Daniel says that the Most High has believers, saints, who are going to, um, you know, we're, we're going to possess the kingdom for eternity. It's a kingdom that never ends. Um, so anyway, so I'm not going to just be babbling. Just wanted to take a quick moment to say, be encouraged, we win. Search out those scriptures. In fact, I hope to very soon um, upload um, some verses, um, some words of encouragement to remind us that he is our helper. He does not leave nor forsake us. No matter what the scriptures say that they say, Yahushua said in Matthew 27, I think. Um, I, I just, I just, I just have a hard time. And no, I'm not versed in Hebrew. Um, but I think if I were to be able to find someone who was, they, I, I believe that they would tell me that that's not what he said. That why has thou forsaken me? When the father has told us that he would never leave us nor forsake us. There is a scripture, I think, in um, Exodus um, when um, he, he's telling the, the children of Yasharel that he will forsake them when they forsake him. So actually, in my thinking, and how I see the Most High is that there's no failure failure in him and there's no evil in him. Um, but then when we walk away from him, from his protection, from his hedge of protection, that we actually walk into the enemy's camp. So there's no protection. An enemy, um, of course, is waiting for us at all times to pounce on us. So the Almighty is not leaving his place of truth and righteousness, light, love, joy, peace, to come after us, we have a free will. And so I, that's how I see, and I could be wrong, that when we forsake him, then we open ourselves up to um, the enemy's attacks. So does he forsake us? I, I dare not think so. I remember a story I heard years and years ago. Yes, I'm telling my age. I am that old to be able to say years and years ago um, <laughs> where a, a woman... And a man were driving, um, husband and wife. And um, the wife mentioned to the husband, look at that couple sitting on that park bench. Look how close they're sitting. We used to do that. 
And so the husband said, or maybe it was they were riding, but I thought they were at the park bench, but it might make more sense that they were driving um, just as they were driving. And the wife was sitting very close to her husband in the vehicle. And so the woman, the older woman who mentioned um, how the younger couple were sitting so close, the husband said, it wasn't me who moved. And when you think about it, he's in the driver's seat. <laughs> he's in the driver's seat, so he didn't move. Where his wife used to sit up under him when he was driving, now she's sitting close to the door. And so he said, it wasn't me who moved. And that's how it is with us. And we have to understand that. That's how I see my life. That's how I see my relationship with him. And I fall short so too, too much. I still fall short too much. Um, but when I do, when something comes, I have to look at me because he doesn't fail. He says he has an expected end for me of good, not of evil. And he says that he, he cannot be tempted, neither tempt he any man. So it must be me. But anyways, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I've gone into more than what I thought I was going to do. The rain has even stopped. I've talked so long. <laughs> so I love you. <clears throat> My desire is that we all make it. Yahushua has told us that in our patience we possess our soul. And in Revelations, he talked about those who overcome, those that endure. So my last words for today is endure till the end. Endure till the end. Endure to the end. It is not what the church world is teaching us, those going to go into heaven. Because right now they got everybody going. Which I don't know even where there is heaven is. Because in Revelation, it talks about New Jerusalem coming down to the earth. So I don't know, but, um, people getting in, there's a lot more to it than just saying, I believe. And I don't know. <laughs> the words are one thing that we say lip service, but heart far from it. Okay, brethren, I am heading out and I will talk to you soon. I am praying for understanding as to how to work this computer and as I told you earlier on when I first started doing um, this channel that um, um, unless y'all shows me how to do things I, I don't know anything about technology and he's so faithful so I know that it will come um, so that I can start doing more videos and I don't want that to be a reason why I don't do it so that's why sometimes I I do the best I can and I do what I do I love you and and I really pray that you continue to be strong and continue to know that he is with you and that he is your help. He is your help in everything. All you got to do is say, I don't understand. All you got to do is say, y'all, please help me. Because his position is, I am your helper. I am your deliverer. I am your friend. I am your way of escape. I am what it is you need me to be in this situation. I love you. Till next time. Shalom.